the U.S. Navy accepted delivery of its first two Block 3 Super Hornets for testing. A single CV model and a two CF model. Both iterations of the new fighter have undergone significant upgrades and design changes over the Block 2 version of the jet, broken up into five major design features. Cockpit The Super Hornet cockpit has undergone a serious overhaul for Block 3, incorporating a single touchscreen design in place of a litany of gauges and readouts. The intent behind the streamlining of these screens isn't to reduce the data available to pilots, but rather, to help manage it more effectively. Fighter pilots have to glean information from multiple screens and the world around them and then fuse it all together in their heads to develop a well-rounded concept of the battle space they're in. While flying supercomputers like the F-35 makes this process even easier for pilots, the Block 3 Super Hornet promises to bridge the gap between fourth-generation jets like the Super Hornet and computing powerhouses like the F-35. Conformal Fuel Tanks One of the most pressing issues facing the U.S. Navy in the 21st century is the lack of fuel range in its carrier-based fighters. Neither the existing Block II Super Hornet nor the advanced F-35C Joint Strike Fighter have the range they'd need to engage Chinese targets without placing their carriers in direct range of China's hypersonic anti-ship missiles. As such, a slew of efforts are underway to pull more range out of these aircraft, including the development of the MQ-25 Stingray refueling drone for use on America's flat tops. But in order to address this problem on the aircraft itself, the Block 3 Super Hornet includes the addition of conformal fuel tanks that add 3,500 pounds of fuel. These additional tanks are called conformal, because they hug the fuselage of the fighter, limiting added drag. Earlier this year, Aviation Week reported that technical, structural, and sustainment issues had risen the anticipated cost of incorporating these conformal fuel tanks, placing their future in jeopardy. However, with the Navy concerned about the range of its existing fighters, it stands to reason that the service will find a way to work out these issues. Networking Capabilities The Block 3 Super Hornet is leaning into the future of data with its distributed targeting processor networked mission computer and its tactical targeting network technology data link. The DTPN is 17 times more powerful than the existing mission computer aboard the Super Hornet, but more importantly, utilizes an open architecture that will allow for software to be changed or updated without having to actually replace any of the aircraft's hardware. All of that computer power will support the rest of the force in the area, not unlike the quarterback in the Sky F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, thanks to the TTNT data link. According to Tebo, the TTNT will allow all of the information to come into the jet from the battle space that we need to be processed for decision making as well as pushing it back out to the rest of the air wings so that we can share common pictures of data and get better situational awareness. Tougher to spot on radar. The F-A-18 was never designed to be a stealth fighter, and despite an improved radar cross-section, the Block 3 Super Hornet isn't either. However, making it tougher to manage a weapons-grade lock on the new fighter has been a focus among Boeing designers, and although much of what has been done in this effort has been kept secret, reports indicate a serious improvement in minimizing detectability. The Block 3 Super Hornet's reduced radar cross-section won't make it a stealth fighter, but like other less-than-perfect stealth jets, the intent may not be to completely evade detection, so much as delay engagement. 
enemy fighters and surface-to-air missile platforms may be able to spot the Block 3 Super Hornet, but the goal is to impede securing a weapons-grade lock to buy the aircraft time to escape or evade. Four thousand more hours in the sky. The Block II Super Hornets in operation for the U.S. Navy today are each rated for 6,000 flight hours, so it goes without saying that the past two straight decades of combat operations in the Middle East and elsewhere have wrought havoc on maintenance schedules and aircraft availability. In another one of those significant changes that are tough to spot with the naked eye, the Block 3 Super Hornet is rated for an additional 4,000 hours, bringing the total up to 10,000. Bonus Improvement, Infrared Search Track System This passive detection capability is aimed squarely at fifth-generation competitors like Russia's Sukhoi Su-57 or China's Chengdu J-20. The Erst can be used to scan the horizon for radar-beating fighters, picking up on the infrared heat released by their jet engines without broadcasting a signal through space to tell others you're on the hunt. This will give the non-stealth Block 3 Super Hornet a real fighting chance against stealthy jets, potentially spotting them against the sky backdrop from a hundred miles away.